Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Wrecker, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. Like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2019. It's our Pro Cyclist Stage Racer. It's episode number 23. We're in that second season. We're at, our, at a World Tour race in the uh, Tour of Catalonia, stage 5. We're in 11th overall. Excuse me. Oof. This stage is classified as a hill stage, but you can look at the profile there, and the biggest climb is in the first 18 kilometers. Not much climbing to do after that, really. So I think ultimately this one will come down as a bunch sprint. And I, I don't see any reason to think otherwise. Uh, let's go ahead and stay with it at least through that first climb so we can see if in fact the group is all still together. From that point on, it's still mostly downhill or flat. We'll rejoin at whatever viable time there is, whether we're coming up on that bunch sprint or if I really do start to see the size of the peloton beginning to wane a bit. Favorites, technically, the hills guys, but again, wouldn't say that is the strength at all. And it's very much an outsider. I don't think there's anything I can do on this stage other than make sure I stay in the group. Cruz Vike, of course, top favorite. Shockman's good. Gegenhardt's going to be good for damage and data. Uh, but again, I, I, I really do think this is going to come down to a sprint. Two and a half minutes down overall. It's going to be tough to see too much change in these final three stages uh, to where we're at in the standings. Once we get past this one, we'll, we'll take a look and see what the profile on those last two stages is going to be and how that's going to shake things up. But let's go ahead and get the stage started. So we're going to just kind of speed through this first climb just to make sure that the group is not impacted. Leader Outsider finished top 20. They want a top 10 on the stage, but I don't think that's happening. We certainly have that top 20 figured out as I move myself into a front position. Actually kind of tempted to do something on this climb, but I doubt they would let me get away. Let's see. Will they let me get away? Get some points. Fifteen, ten, nine. Nope. Close me down fast. <laughs> Quick test there. Now I think there's more than just three sets of points though. It most definitely is. So we could go over at the front of this and pick up a few free points in the KOM. guys have three minutes already. Field's not interested in chasing them, but they certainly were interested in chasing me. 10k to go to the top. That's, that's a hefty climb. Speed it up. 8k. 7. 6. 5. Slow it back down. 4k. Tempo's picking up now, as those guys have five minutes. 3k. Get a little quicker out to the front that I wanted to here. The distance has 2k. Really in right sorry, you're a sorry. You should be okay, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack. Take those points. There you go. And we're 
we're into the top ten. Free points are free points. I'll take them. You never know when some things might go your way. All right, well, no surprise. Peloton completely intact over the top. George Bennett, though, has fallen and fallen back. Let's go ahead and move forward. The breakaway was given the longest leash I've seen in a while. It was a nine minute gap over the field. And then the field just turned it on and in a very short period of time pulled it back to under three minutes. Very short period of time that happened. It did a little bit of damage where we lost a half a dozen riders off the back of the peloton. But then all of a sudden we sat up again as we were pulling them back so quickly. So the gap reopened a couple minutes. And now, as we're down to the final 18 kilometers, I don't think those guys are going to get caught. That gap's been coming back down. We pulled a minute back of it. But with only 17k to go, I don't think we're going to catch them. And I think our breakaway group of three riders, well, they're going to claim this stage from the looks of it. Meaning Castro Viejo, really. Uh, Gogard and Petili have their sights on the stage. That's surprising that Castro Viejo would be given that much free reign. I mean, I'm sure he's down a bit in the standings. But he can't be down that much, right? Patelli's 17.42 down. I can't get to more of the group at the moment. Let's see. Castro Viejo, 17, wow, 17.44 in 31st. Cougar's 26 minutes down. That's why nobody cares, but... Here comes the big acceleration. We better accelerate ourselves because uh, holding our position is just not doing anything. We've got a massive group of riders that are all trying to attack here with a 10k to go. And there is a group off the front. A whole Menton's wheel. It looks like we are catching these guys. They have sat up a bit. And Burrow's still here. Just about got them reeled in. 6k to go. And there they are. Now it's a group of 27. So we do see here comes the next acceleration. So right now we're just trying to hold serve. Keep these guys in contact. We'll sit up again here momentarily. But I'm sure the next acceleration is coming any moment. Here it is. Dan Martin. 3k to go. About to see the finish. Yeah, Martin's going to pick up some time. Can I pick up some time? Let's see. Okay, we're off the front. But red bar, yellow bar, both fading a little bit. Final K. Nope, here comes the group back at me. Patelli took the win. Gogard Castro Viejo took third. Dan Martin d does get fourth. A little bit of a bonus for him. Bevan, Magnus Court Nielsen, I take seventh. Pazza Vivo, Max Cantor, Daryl Impey. That's top ten. And there's the group with me. I don't know if they'll have separations to Dan Martin or otherwise. <clears throat> Either way, we're definitely up there in the standings on this one. Beyond the three from the break, we were fourth on the stage. So we get a bit of a push there on the finish. No time gaps. So Dan Martin, Bevin, we're all same time. And no time gaps on the field whatsoever. Even though there was definite separation. Tax came too late, I suppose. And so we keep 11th place. 
just eight seconds behind Patrick Conrad. <clears throat> if we get the opportunity, we need to steal some seconds at a sprint point. Those top three guys were too far away, though, preventing us from doing anything on that stage. Got two to go. As promised, we're going to take a quick look at the final two stages, profile-wise. See what we're up against. How much more should this field be? Shook it up. Stage six, two sprint points, but otherwise it's a flat one. And stage seven, that could shake it up a little bit, but again, you're looking at here's the sprint points. So that's 9k in. There's three seconds, maybe. Not a lot of separation expected. This should still be. A small bunch, small bunch sprint at the finish. There might be a chance here. Breakaways caught. So there's a chance for maybe six seconds out there somewhere. And then that last stage, maybe. A small enough bunch sprint maybe we can get into the top three and pick up some bonus seconds there otherwise getting into the top 10 is going to be very difficult uh, we've already got our goal of top 20 we're very secure in that uh, but we're only eight seconds away from the top 10 so we'll just keep fighting and doing what we can here in the last two stages breakaway group nine riders with 17k to go they continue to stay out front, though their gap is now down to 45 seconds, and we are well past that sprint point. So any chance I had of gaining those three seconds is now behind us as we approach the finish line. Down to 15k, and the stage has done a little bit of damage. Not everybody's here in Peloton. It's down to 130 riders. Um, but at least for me, I will comfortably get two finish line here. No problem. The pack is slowly whittling away the lead. And we'll finish as high as we can manage, but without any sort of lead out or anything, I'll just be trying to inch my way into the top 20. 8k to go. And we actually still have not brought in that breakaway group. They still have a few seconds on us. Here's our gel. Ship into the 90s. Now when we do catch them here in a little bit as the peloton is shattering at the moment, when I do catch them, it's a good chance to slide up in position. 4.4k to go. I can't get through at the moment though. If I had control of Restrepo, that would be nice. Try to gap these guys. There we go. Group of 13. Low effort, low effort. Oh, I'm already in the prime position here. That's that's my good thing, but it's a little too close to the finish. Group didn't stay away. Little splits, nothing that's gonna stick. Daryl Impey takes the stage over Patty Bevan and Jay McCarthy. Oliver Murray, Restrepo, Cantor, Haas, Rue, Latour, and Lopez are your top 10. I'm not even going to make the top 20, just missing that. 27th. Uh, Restrepo, though, for the team, does get 5th. That was good. Tried a little cheeky move there. Didn't work out. That's what put us outside of the top 20. But really, what's the difference to be 17th on the stage versus 27th on the stage? Versus maybe my little cheeky thing could have snuck us a top three. Did not pan out because as soon as I bridged the gap, so did everybody else. <laughs> they didn't like having me get away.
One stage to go. Still on our fitness peak. So still looking good for this final stage. Also, you can see we're, it's the final day of March. That contract season. The search for the team starts April 1st. So as soon as we finish this last stage, we'll actually be looking into this one. Now, with this repetitive climb, uh, first couple times, I don't think much will happen. Uh, but from there on out, we're going to really see that peloton thin. So we're probably going to join up with a good 45, 50 kilometers left to go in this final stage. Peloton shrinking just went under 100. 28 kilometers left to go. It's this same climb over and over again, and we're on it now. Uh, my team support fading a little bit at the moment. Some of the guys are very tired outside of Restrepo, and Restrepo's going to get water one final time. There's the top of the climb. There were points on offer up there, but there's still a breakaway of three riders, and the Peloton at the moment down to 39. Uh, you can see Aaron Burrow and crew left behind. Aaron Burrow was actually in the break, but the breakaway is down to just three riders, as most of them have been caught. They did have nine. Uh, those groups behind still have a chance of getting back in touch. Those 30 guys are right there, but will they stay with us as we have three times left to go through? Probably not. Rodriguez right now, the latest to be burying himself for me. Restrepo still here. And hopefully I can use up Rodriguez this time and then get Restrepo through at least the next time. And for now, we're back together and the pace has really gone out of the group all of a sudden. As we're just about to reel those guys in. So there are some points up here. There isn't a chance to do something. Here comes the acceleration. Guys starting to push forward a little bit. Peloton really came back together uh, that time through. There was just no no charge, no impetus in the group. Uh, just two left to go. Now, I actually did pick up some time. This first sprint point, just nine kilometers in, uh, I used Mora to give high effort at the front of the Peloton and stop breakaways. A couple guys tried, but didn't succeed in getting away. It allowed me to sprint. There was one person who was in contention for the sprint points who attacked it a bit harder. They took first. I took second across the line. So I picked up two seconds. So we're within six now, meaning if I finish in second, if I manage to finish in second place here, uh, as we ride forward, Going up the hill. Oh, I got blocked off there. Just one rider left off the front. There were some points there. Not that they matter. I'm outside of the top two, top uh, top ten anyway in that classification. But I still want to be at the front. Uh, we're still 76 riders here. So taking the pace out of the group really, really opened this up to a lot of riders. As we have just one time left. And it's 9k, and we want to use the gel now because we want to attack over the top and be in a small select group of just you know, five, six riders. Uh, that means what I need is I need Restrepo and Rodriguez, who are right in front of me. Aaron Burrow doesn't have enough energy left. So we're going to set ourselves as a 99. I'm going to set Restrepo as a 99, I want to follow Rodriguez, and we're going to set Rodriguez. Well, we're not to the climb yet, so we'll set him as an 81 here. Here comes the climb. Okay. Now, have I made it back? Oh, I haven't made it up there yet! No! Stuck in the pack! Come on. Can't get away. Well, the good thing is nobody's attacking because of Rodriguez pulling at the front. But he's going to fade now, and there's no break. 
There's two riders trying to get off the front, right over the top. Pazzavivo and Gegenhart. Four and a half K to go. There we go. All right, I finally made my way up here. So Restrepo. Give me a lead out. Two and a half K. Two K. I can't sprint with him. But I can sprint for me. Come on, through the pack. Through the pack. Can it be a top three? Can it be a top two? Latour. Oh, come on. That's fifth? I was debating whether it was going to be second or third. I got fifth. By a millimeter, apparently. Love to see the... Uh, uh, the finish line on that one, obviously, I'm not a sprinter, but so close. Latour, Shockman, Moss, Pazzavivo, they take fifth on the stage. So very, very nearly second place. Um, Pierre Latour had half a wheel on, on the rest of us, but second to fifth? Couldn't have been more than a few millimeters between us, or at least from my angle. That's certainly what it appeared like. We will watch a replay or two just to see. And here are the race highlights that we've selected for you. Yeah, from that angle you can see we're definitely not in the top three, but it still looked like fourth from that angle. We get ahead of them, but we just don't have the sprint speed. Yeah, that still looks like fourth. The EF rider had not passed us yet. Passes us just after the line. Mm. Fourth still doesn't come with a time bonus. But yeah, okay, so Lopez didn't pass us. Certainly looked like fourth from the overhead. And Lopez nearly takes us on the line, but it's just after. And he didn't take us. So I'm not sure who I missed. Alright, well, anyway. Take 11th. We come within six seconds of Patrick Conrad. 7th in the sprints, 13th in the mountains, 3rd in the under 25s, ninth as a team. But that's not bad for a world tour. First top 5 in a world tour. First stage race finished in a world tour. First race finished in a world tour. That's a lot of bonus points. We're also about to level up for the end of the month. It's not going to be enough to hit level 12, but dang it, that's a, a big boost to us. 49 point. Oh, that is so close. That <laughs> uh, was really close. Really close. Our next race will certainly get us to level up. Three points away. 97%. Still have the fittest peak, but it will fade before we have our next race, I think. But it is time for Contract 2021. So, who's it going to be? Who's in for us? Three World Tour teams is all? Yikes. Smaller teams want us. I mean, we're up to at least three stars. Want to group go bare down to three stars? That's surprising. A lot of points if we went that direction. It's all Continental Pro at a minimum. But mostly, it's all the Continental Pro teams want our services. Direct Energy would be a good way to go because I think we could push them up to World Tour status. We'd come with a lot more points. They already have a bit higher interest. 
or we look to go back home. America, CCC, former BMC, already quality squad. 27 points per season is not bad. We could sign a one-year deal. I, I, I think I'm definitely looking at just let's go ahead and jump in, make, make the dive, get up into world tour status. We do have two points. That'll boost us up a lot faster. I think if we went to CC uh, Direct Energy, there's a chance, a very good chance, that it would push us into World Tour status. Especially as a 76, I'll, I'll almost certainly be a 77 or a 78 before the end of the season. And I think that would be enough to get the team up there. But if I'm going to go up there, why not just go for a decent team and get to uh, CCC? These guys, the interest level is too low. So I think that kind of hurts our chances of going there. But let's see, two points of interest, just how much of a boost that creates. Get some results over the season, that's going to boost up even more. Gogol, Ben Hermans, Finney. Vanderpool, Michael Matthews. Helmsjan? Wow, I like that group. <clears throat> that's actually, that's really tempting. And that comes with 54 points. Start with a small team. Nah. Let's do it. CCC. Okay, finalize that. Yep, it's in. Do we begin the fitness peak on the 11th of March? 28 days, we just had, what, 31 in the month, so it'll be over on the 8th. We don't have any racing, so yeah, it's going to be gone very soon. Last thing we look at before we jump forward. We have any world tour points? We do. We picked up 70 in our first race. Continental rankings, fifth. And super prestige, 17th. Nice. All right, so this is the Amstel Gold Race. It's the classic season. We got into a couple of the classics. And I'm teammate for this one with no team leader, Barador. Wow. Okay, well, the objective is the objective, even though our fitness peak is now gone. Uh, we do come in, in with it. Uh, still have fitness of 98%, and we've really benefited from it today. We've lucked out a bit with a plus three, a very healthy, healthy plus three. That could potentially make me a contender today, not for... A top placing, but you know, at least a top 20, top 15. Team's not interested in a top 20 or top 15. They think our only chance is going to be from the breakaway. And therefore, Aberasturi on his way to do just that. And that's quite a few riders off the front. And now I'm going to waste a ton of energy. At least a ton of energy working at the front. Uh, you can see a couple things about this. There is a lot of undulation, a lot of uphill, downhill, even though there's not a great amount of elevation change. But one thing you might have noticed, 256 kilometers. This is one of the longest races of the year. 40k at the front is a really long distance. To get the exceptional 25% extra means I need to have 50k 
K at the front. Well, we're at the front. We're putting some work in, so we're going to speed it up for a little bit as we go through. Uh, based on the nature of the race, based on the length, the distance, the world tour status, I decided we're going to show the entire race, but plenty of it will be at times 8 kind of speed. Uh, we've already clocked in 15k and continue to remain at the front, so as long as that's the case, we'll just stay put, get the job done for the day, and then after that we'll ride for us. The only downside is I'll have no team support. 75% of objective already met. Of course I want the 50, I want the extra bonus. 35k. Still at the front. Starting to hit some of those uphill downhill sections. There's 100% to get to the 125. Of course this is the only way to see it from this race strategy tab. 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay, now we can relax, recover, see how quickly we recover. But here's the downside. My stamina, already down here. The rest of my teammates are all up here. So we've just wasted a bunch of stamina doing what we did. Even our yellow bar, you, you can see that's not going to be recovered. So it's unfortunate that we had to waste that energy to meet our objective. Make sure we don't get dropped. And then without any team support, it's going to fade away even faster. Even with the plus sevens, we're still only a 71 on stamina and still only a 72 on resistance. So I can see why the team, looking at those low 60s, would go, yeah, you're not going to make it to the end. Sorry, but who would? on my team anyway, so why wouldn't they ride for me? Attack in the breakaway group, that's the sudden pause. Uh, let's go ahead and change perspectives here and we'll see if you can see the constant uphill, downhill, the undulation change. And this one you certainly can. We're actually hitting the highest points of the day right now. A lot of hill changes though. So 2.8k, 4.7, 300 meters of change on this one. Here's the high point of the day. It gets a little bit easier from here. No riders dropped from the peloton yet. Breakaway is 10 riders. They've got a four minute lead. The action really is not picked up. Pace is not picked up, though we are over halfway through the stage now. The pace is really hot, so for the moment, we shouldn't see too many attacks. It's a puncture. There's an attack in the group at the front. Sounds like the chase is now started for that front group. Uh, the favorites today, Al Philippe. And Vanderpool. Big acceleration. You can see as you get over the top of that just how stretched the field gets in a short period of time. So that's going to make being at the front very important. And really, I'm not there. I'm in the middle. So let's maybe focus in on that for a little bit, make sure nothing's going to suddenly happen. We've still got 109k to go, but we do not want to see ourselves get dropped. So I need to move up near the front. Let's go times two for that. Move up near the front, reestablish that as our maintain position. And then, there we go, set our effort a little bit higher just to make sure we don't suddenly slip back because there will be sudden breaks as steep as some of these climbs are as punchy as they are a 
so we'll watch from here for a, a little while. In 82, we've got another short steep one coming up. Lots and lots of like little steep climbs. Well, 87 kilometers, it won't be soon. It's just a very long one. We are inside the final 100k, finally. We are starting to see some splits. There are definitely riders that are now falling off the back. So the damage is beginning to take its toll on the field. Stamina is getting low. I've now passed up a couple guys like Mora in that department. And we just saw a big split. I don't know if it's going to stay. Or these guys are going to yo-yo. We are seeing some yo-yoing. But as the undulation continues, a lot of these on the back will not get their way back into it. Uh, it does level off a bit for the next little while, though. So I think we're not going to see much more separation. That group of 87 probably going to regain contact. It's only a minute behind. And with 68 riders spread out, they really only have about 15, 20 seconds to cover. And they've already pulled back 10. <clears throat> and they've made contact again. So as expected, Breakaway hanging on, two and a half minute lead. But I doubt that they're going to last. I mean, just looking at Aberastori, he is quite tired. Really wish I had team support, even if it was only one rider. What a difference it would have made today instead of having to have worked at the front. Getting that top 25... It's going to be a difficult one now. I'll certainly try for it, but I think I easily could have had a top 20 before the race started, especially when you take in the race day condition. Now I'm not so sure. See, Restrepo's still looking a little bit stronger than I am, or about even anyway. And I've passed up the rest of my teammates. So it just kind of goes to show all that wasted energy, how much better off I'd be right now if I hadn't wasted that energy spending 50k on the front. No matter what though, I'm going to have a good evaluation. I mean, that much is guaranteed now. Another short steep climb, and this is where we're going to start to see the splits happen again after we went through that relative calm for the last 15-20k. Not so much this one, and you look at the next, let's see, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, before we hit that plateau for a while. Six little punchy sections. I think we're going to be down to about 30, 40 riders at the end of that. Somebody falling back shuffles me back a little bit. We're hitting them now. Split starting. Acceleration coming. No? I shuffled back pretty quick there. Okay, here we go. There's one. And we just pulled in most of the breakaway. Only one rider left. Minute ahead. Here we go again.
big accelerations. A lot of riders riding hard. You can see I'm getting tired, and so is most everybody else. 84 left. Here's the next one. It's short. Here we go again. Another short one. Slow it down for a little bit here. Check back in. The steep one's coming. That was the five. Here comes the big one. 15%, 600 meters. I'm going to get right to the front. Here it is. To Take this left. 60 riders. Others making contact with the back, but I think by the time we hit the top here, we're going to see a lot of riders get dropped. I did a lot of damage and it did bring us down. I said 30 or 40, and there you are, 40. A lot of riders hitting the top and then falling off. So we're down to 39, one and four behind, five behind now, gap opening behind. But we're on a bit of a plateau, so it's gonna be a little bit before we hit these last few. We've only got three climbs left. Little uphill at the finish, though. But yeah, only three left, so uh, at this point, the odds are pretty good. That one rider is down to 37 seconds. There they are, actually. Zoidal. We just got our first glimpse of him, so he'll be reeled in soon enough. The gap is opening behind. It's a little bit bigger. So I think this is it. 20k to go. I'm hanging in there, but I'm not recovering at all because my stamina is so low. And I'm kind of still right at that edge, 140, 150. Restrepo, the only one here, not getting any team support. Here we go again, downhill, steep uphill. The riders are in a portion above 10%. Sliding backwards a little bit, don't. Don't get dropped here. Caught behind these guys. 35. There's Restrepo. Ah, there's a gap at the moment. Just a tiny gap, but... Only 15 kilometers left. Come on. That was exactly what I was worried about. I should have upped the effort. At least get with these guys. There we go. Oh, we caught back on. We caught back on, but here comes another split. 14 riders off the front. And we're down on energy now. Let's use our gel. 12k to go. So 14 riders off going for the race win. Alaphilippe, Fullsong, Volger, and Vanderpool all there. Shockman there. Toynes, Woods, Kwiatkowski. Sagan caught in between. Oh, he just got dropped by that group. And we're going to get dropped by this group here in the final K. Yeah, we just went down on energy right as we're about to make contact. 19 riders right there, but I can't quite get up there. Uh, a lot of people are very tired now. This is all coming down to the stamina. I'm all alone. I've got a group of 10 that's about to make contact with me behind. So there goes our top 20 chances. And again, earlier, if, if Restrepo would have been there, I would have had resistance left. I would have had stamina left. Instead, I just shuffle backwards now with no energy here in the final few K, Hershey and I. So I've just missed now a top 30. Pretty good gap behind us. And it's going the right direction. It's opening, so Hershey's got a better spit, uh, pace. I'm recovering a little bit so I can at least beat him out, possibly, to the finish. Final 2K. Right there. So close. But again, that 50K at the front everything to do with why I'm not there now and not giving team leader status. Matthew Vanderpool takes the win over Alaphilippe, Fulsung, Sagan, who was dropped and came back, Shockman, 
Woods, Kwiatkowski, Valgren, Toynes, and Demarkey. Final K. Let's go. Accelerate, 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 and sprint. And there you go for 29th position. <clears throat> not bad for my first time at something that's not my strong suit. Super long classic. But I've got that decent hills rating. I could have been good today. I could have been a contender. I had the team support instead of the other way around. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.